Another year, another playoff appearance for Wabonzi Valley. 2016 marks the 10th straight postseason for the Warriors. But can Dub V duplicate last year's run to the state semifinals? NSW's Kamenachev takes a look at each of the four teams heading to football's second season. We start our football preview with the three 8A DVC teams that earned playoff spots. Neuqua Valley picked up the 13th seed after an impressive 8-1 season. The Wildcats certainly won't be rewarded though as they hosted defending 7A champs and 20th seed Glenbard West on Saturday at 6 p.m. Neuqua returned several defensive starters back from injury but will also be without leading wide receiver Donnie Navarro who broke his collarbone last week. Fellow DVC co-champ Naperville North also finished 8-1 and, and comes in right behind Neuqua as the 14th seed and will host its first playoff game since 2010. The Huskies take on 7-2 and, and 19th seed Lions Friday at 7 p.m. Lions boasts an impressive 28-14 win at Glenbard West, which at the time broke a 32-game conference winning streak for the Hilltoppers. The Huskies will need strong performances from their two-headed monster at running back in Eric Wright and Cross Robinson. And the third and final showdown between the DVC and West Suburban Silver Conferences features 31st seed Wabonzi Valley who just snuck into the playoffs with a big week 9 win. The Warriors will have a tough road showdown on Saturday at 1 p.m. against the 2 seed and 9-0 Hensdale Central. The low seed hasn't hurt the Warriors in the past though. Wabonzi made the 8A semifinals last year as the 30th seed. In all, it's a loaded 8A bracket with 17 teams who are either 9-0 or 8-1. Switching gears to the 7A and 11 seeded Bennett who will host the 22nd seed Hoffman Estates Friday at 7 p.m. The 7-2 Red Wings have made the playoffs for a program record fifth straight year and will be led by senior and three-year starter at QB Jack Snyder. Meanwhile, Hoffman Estates is back in the playoffs for the first time in 22 years. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Kamen Enchev.